Hello and welcome to the info video series of MEDC. Well, when we talk about the roadmap for ESC 2017, paper one is definitely a major concern for every engineering student. Well, to discuss about the various aspects of paper one, how to handle, what has to be the focus areas, what exactly is the roadmap and the strategy. To discuss on these various aspects, today we have with us in our studio, Mr. Sunil Tiwari, who is an expert of, uh, uh, you know, MEDIZ and considered to be one of the very senior faculties with MEDIZ. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So, when we talk about paper one, there is there are two segments which we are going to uh, talk about. Number one is engineering mathematics and number two is reasoning aptitude. Well, when we talk about engineering mathematics what exactly are the key areas which need to be covered by a student engineering mathematics uh, is basically those areas which are taught in the first year and second year of the engineering syllabus that will be covered in this subject right, sir. and uh, since calculator is not allowed in the examination so very brief uh, of those uh, topics will be covered uh, under this uh, topic in UPSC so uh, when we talk about the intensive levels of preparation so I would like you to talk to our students and tell them in uh, detail about elaborately what are the areas which need to be covered in engineering arithmetic in engineering mathematics we talk about the content uh, of the subject then uh, the very first content will be the linear algebra in linear algebra we will discuss about the matrix and determinants uh, first topic in matrix uh, we have uh, to uh, study to calculate the rank of the matrix and then properties of the matrix and the properties of the determinants by using the matrix and determinant how to solve the linear equations that we have to study after this uh, solving linear equations we have to study the calculating Egan values and Egan vectors. This is the part of the linear algebra. Then we will move on to the second part. Second part is the calculus. In calculus, we have to study uh, to calculate limits, differentiability and continuity of the functions. After studying these things, we have to study the mean value uh, uh, theorem and uh, also to calculate uh, uh, the differentiation and integration of the various functions along with the definite integration integration and indefinite integration both then we move on to the uh, other part that is to calculate maxima and minima of the functions uh, maxima and minima of single variable function as well as double variable function uh, two variable functions uh, we have to uh, uh, calculate then next part will be the vector calculus in vector calculus we have to learn to calculate uh, uh, various integrations uh, like uh, surface integral uh, volume integral then conversion from surface integral to volume integral uh, by using certain theorems like uh, Green's theorems uh, Gauss divergence the uh, theorem or Stokes theorems then we move to the next part that is the complex algebra in complex algebra first of all we have to study the basic complex function nature of the basic complex function and the conversion of the complex function in various forms like polar form or Euler form uh, and then we have to study the analytical function analytical function uh, after studying analytical function we uh, move on to the calculation of residue uh, then Cauchy, integ uh, uh, Cauchy integral Cauchy Riemann theorem to uh, uh, application of Cauchy Riemann theorem in calculation of the residue and the various series related with the complex functions uh, like Lorentz series, uh, Taylor series, etc. After this, we will move to the numerical methods. In this numerical methods, we have to learn to solve linear equations as well as non-linear equation by using certain methods like Simpson rule or Newton reaction method or Runge Kutta method. These methods we have to learn. After this, we will move to the probability and statistics part. In statistics part, we should know to calculate mean, median, uh, uh, median, and mode, etc. Then the basic problems related with the permutation combination and probability theory this is will be the uh, uh, covered under the heading of probability and statistics if we move on further then we have to study uh, Laplace transform and Fourier series and Fourier transform Fourier transform is a special case of Laplace transform uh, so um, we will study also uh, to calculate the ROC reason of uh, um, uh, operation for the uh, Laplace transform and for various kind of systems uh, like causal system or BIBO stable systems uh, uh, these kind of systems. 
and then in four year series we have to study dirichlet condition for the four year series so this is the overall syllabus of the mathematics part right. which we have to cover under the heading of engineering mathematics so, so we can somewhere uh, you know see that the comfort zone for an engineer is going to be definitely strong because yes. this is something which they've already learned and they've studied yes and the syllabus the is uh, almost exactly same with the gate syllabus gate. so, so, so almost everyone has studied earlier in this right so there will not be much difficulty no when we move on to the next part which is the reasoning and aptitude part. So what exactly are the areas which a student needs to focus, uh, you know, to maybe act as a big scorer for them? Yes, reasoning and aptitude section is especially designed to check the analytical and decision-making ability of a student candidate. Right, so if uh, we categorize this, then this can be categorized in two parts. One is the numerical aptitude and another is the uh, reasoning uh, portion. So in numerical aptitude, uh, uh, we have to deal with the problems related with the average, related with the uh, proportion, related with the series uh, uh, progression and related with the uh, uh, profit and loss, uh, time and uh, uh, distance, uh, uh, then time and work. Uh, these will be the broad areas of the reasoning and aptitude. Aptitude, uh, uh, aptitude section, numerical aptitude section. In the reasoning section, we have to deal problems related with the blood relations, uh, pie chart, bar chart, table, and uh, problems related with the bean diagrams. Also, problems related with the direction sense test. This will be the area uh, which will be covered under the reasoning section. Uh, along with this, some uh, uh, Problems to check the decision making capability of the student can also be included in this uh, portion, reasoning uh, portion. Right. So as as it can be rightly deciphered by what you have told that, you know, logical and analytical skills are the core of any engineer. And these two segments of paper one are broadly covering the logical aspect as well as the analytical aspect of a student. Uh, well, uh, I'm sure the students by using the core competencies and core capabilities of logical thinking, analytical thinking will definitely be able to crack this segment of paper one. We wish you all the best for your future. Prepare hard and get your best shot done. Thank you. For more details, visit www.madeeasy.in.